Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to compare different image generation platforms that are Midjourney, Leonardo, Stable Diffusion, and the another one is Tensor. Now, Tensor is a very good free platform that provides you 100 images per day. This is some kind of user interface of that particular platform named Tensor. Another one is Stable Diffusion. Another one is Leonardo. And another one is a very famous one that is Midjourney. So I'm using Discord for Midjourney. So uh, let us just begin now. This video is not like something that is uh, that explains that what are the other functions and other features uh, and what are the version difference of each image generation platform. No, this video uh, is a direct comparison of how the uh, image generation platform uh, gives the result of a single prompt. So uh, we will use a same prompt on the different platform and then this is how we will test that how the result is provided from uh, each platform. So let us just first, I uh, I have already rewritten the prompt uh, and first we will try mid journey. So this is the user interface of mid journey. Uh, here you need to type the prompt what you want to type. So uh, for that we need to type a forward slash and image ID. So this is how mid journey will understand that okay, uh, I need to generate an image. Why? Because there are some other uh, like uh, settings. Yeah, you can access settings. You can uh, like shorten the prompts. Okay, so you can write forward slash and short, and you can write forward slash sh uh, settings. So uh, that's why you need to write forward slash image and, and that's why uh, I have written this image. Uh, so I'll just hit enter, and it will start generating the image. So now I have not changed the other settings. Okay, like. The version is 5.2, which is currently the default one. Uh, the Remix mode is whether it is turned on and off. So it doesn't matter actually. So uh, I'm just using it until it provides. Let us just go to Leonardo.ai. Now this is uh, some kind of uh, first screen uh, when I'm logged into Leonardo. So it uh, gave me this first screen. So they, it is written over that featured model. So I think they are providing some different kind of models on which we want to create our image. For example, if I click on this one, uh, I think it will come up with some examples as well that if I select this photoreal model, so it will come up with these kind of images. So these are the images created with this model. So uh, very good images are already being created with Leonardo. So I think our image is ready in this code. Yeah, so a beautiful woman with black hair, ultra realistic and happy. So this this is the result uh, that Red Journey has, provide, uh, has came up with. So yeah, it's a good one. Uh, let us try with, so it is a very simple image because I have not provided like what kind of background it is, what kind of environment it is, what kind of aspect ratio it is. There are many features that you can try out, but I am just experimenting with different models, like different AI platforms that provide image generation so that we come to know that which one is best and which uh, we like the most and uh, what best suits your requirements. So in Leonardo, uh, I'm randomly just selecting any one model. For example, Absolute Reality version 1.6. I think it is of uh, SD, like Stable Diffusion version. Yeah, it is 1.5. So uh, this is also a very good, uh, like, but it like uh, inclines more on artistic uh, so it is artistic in nature so currently i want a realistic photo so i will click over here only and i will generate with this model okay so this is your first year generation please uh, type a prompt okay so yeah uh, so here i need to type a prompt and it is also written over there that prompt the generation so if i click over here okay so i can also like have an idea that what prompts I can get for this particular uh, kind of work. For example, I want a prompt regarding beautiful woman. So I will just type over here. And it will, uh, like, uh, once I click on idea, it will come up with some ideas. For example, I have written over here, click four uh, on this. So it will come up with four prompt ideas. So here it is written thousand prompts remaining. So it will, for free of cost, it will give you thousands prompts ideas. So currently, I just want two ideas. So I will just click over here, beautiful woman. And also, I will tell happy. 
Uh, then I will click on IDA. So it is generally generating the prompt for me. So a beautiful woman with a blooming uh, spine. But no, uh, I just uh, want to go with the prompt that I have provided to mid journey. So as we can directly compare and I will click on generate. So it is written, it will use 16 tokens, 134 remaining. So it provides, uh, provides us 150 tokens for free of cost. So uh, it has started generating the two images because I have selected, I want to generate two images. If I selected four images, more tokens may be utilized. So okay, uh, it has created the images of the beautiful one. Again, a very good realistic photographs. And this is the result of uh, mid journey. And this is the result of Leonardo. So again, I think Leonardo has done a very good work on the details and the background is blurred. Uh, so it has added the elements on its own. So okay, let us check with the same prompt with stable diffusion. Okay, and I will click generate. Nothing I am going to change. Uh, I like I will just use the default settings and thus I am uh, trying out that what uh, images we are getting. Now this is uh, tensor art. It is also a very good alternative. Uh, if you want free of cost image generation, it provides you 100 images per day. So in one day, you can create 100 images for free of cost. Okay. Uh, so here it is written basic model. Okay. So you can also change the other models, I think. Yeah, definitely. So same like uh, uh, AI art generation, uh, this Leonardo model. You can select the model, whichever you want. So, okay. I'm just randomly uh, selecting any one which seems more realistic. Or I can uh, just type try it now. Yeah, so here it comes. Okay. So this cry engine seems more realistic or... Yeah, let me just try this model. And the prompt is beautiful woman, comma black hair, ultra realistic and happy. Now here it is also written negative prompt. Now what does mean my negative prompt? The things that you want to exclude from your uh, image generation. For example, if you are generating an image of fruits, okay, a basket of a fruits, you're having a water splash on that. So if you don't want a very specific fruit, it uh, fruit in that particular image. For example, uh, like you don't want apple. Okay, so it will exclude apples from that image. So it will generate an image where there are no apples are there. Okay, so this is a very exact use of negative prompt. But uh, as of now, I will leave uh, I will leave everything as it is. Let us see the, if the image is yeah. So image has been generated by uh, click drop. Okay, so it's also a good one. But background is like okay. So it has also provided with the four uh, alternates. So it is not a realistic one, but first one it seems more realistic than first and second. I think also looks more realistic than other ones. But yeah, also good work. Uh, let us just try this one and click on generate. So here it is written minus one credit balance. So minus one out of 100. So one image, one credit. So you can create 100 uh, images per day. So uh, I will click over it. Like this is just an aspect ratio. So uh, I will click on landscape or I can click a link as it is as a custom so width and height I think this is in pixel but I will uh, leave it unchanged and just click generate okay so these are the images generated by other let us let me just open this in browser so when you open the image from mid journey in browser the you can zoom it So these are the images uh, generated from mid -journey. So it is not realistic image. Definitely it is not a realistic image. Uh, now let us go to uh, Leonardo. This is called a realistic image. Yeah. So very good image. Let me just zoom. It. Okay. You can also download these images. This is also uh, the case in mid journey you can also right click and save images or uh, you can 
save it from envelope there is a separate command for well, this image journey now let's see okay so it has generated the image okay so it's also uh, like not so good uh, not so good uh, again you can also save this image uh, yeah so it's again not so good but definitely uh, you can try it out so i think the best result the prompt coherence like Leonardo exactly understood that I want a, reali a realistic image. Uh, that might be the reason that I have selected the model which creates more realistic image. Uh, yeah, here it is written cinematic. Okay, let me just uh, change it to none. Okay, so it asked me to update the run, but not an issue. So uh, this is the direct comparison of all the like image generation platforms. So I think Leonardo has created a very good prompt because I have written uh, because I have selected cinematic over here let us me just try this out uh, with the same prompt like ultra realistic from a cinematic and happy okay and let us just hit enter and let's see how it comes up with the result now this is just for the comparison that uh, we have like turned on the cinematic mode in uh, the Leonardo so uh, let us just try the same one mid journey as well So there is a good to go feature, a uh, good to go AI platform that is called Tensor.R. Uh, if you want to try out the image generation for free, of course, definitely you can try it out. Another one is also uh, Firefly. Uh, Firefly is also uh, the tool which generates the image for, uh, free of cost. So our image has been generated. Let us just go to Firefly. Well, uh, by the way, Firefly is having uh, much more things which you can try out so it supports text to image generation generative field like if you are having a photograph of a road and in which the many digs are there and if you want to remove those digs that's also possible like if some people is standing beside you and you want to erase that people it is that person uh, like whose hand is on your shoulder so you can erase that part uh, the hand part on your shoulder and uh, there can be a very a single, there can be a single photo of yours only from two people. So you can literally erase one person from an image. That is also possible with the help of this tool. Another one is text effects. You can create uh, some stunning fonts like text. If you want some ice cream and pizza kind of uh, like textures on your font, your name, that's also possible. So here it is text to image generation. But I think it is not very good at uh, generating the image. Let us just try out. So, yeah, this is the result. So, cinematic again, uh, I think it has not come up with a very good result as I expected. Uh, for that, I need to change my prompt to like a portrait of a beautiful woman kind of thing. A beautiful woman is having black hair, ultra realistic, happy. Okay, you can also add some things like walking on a street. Okay, yeah. So, oh, I forgot to uh, put a forward slash. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, just. Yeah, so, so this is Adobe Firefly. Until then, we can also try out uh, with this one and we can change the prompt. Like, I also want another prompt to return. It is a portrait of a beautiful woman with a long black baby hairs and style of traditional techniques, ultra realistic, happy walking in mysterious place. Just hit enter. 
yeah so it has now came up with i think some realistic photo yeah let me just open this in browser this is the previous one and this is the updated prompt so prompting is, the, is that's why important uh, you should be very good at prompting and the first you need to be fundamentally strong that how the image uh, generation models things so yeah this is like better than before not the best but again, uh, better than before. Well, let us just give the same prompt which just uh, we just provided to uh, this uh, tensor art uh, to mid journey. So, what is a cognitive woman with long black baby hairs? Okay, great. You can also put in the prompts like 8K or 4K of the resolutions if you want very, very specific uh, resolutions. So this is the image generation uh, platform by Adobe Firefly again, free of cost. I will just uh, give the prompt and hit generate. Okay, so it is completed by 262 uh, percentage. And what's the case over here? Let me just click back. And again, check with the second prompt in stable diffusion. Okay, so another uh, image in a mysterious place, walking, black, very hairs, and again, not very good, but as well as not bad, if you want to try out for free, so uh, this uh, 100 images are very good, uh, if you want to try out the things, so again, with a clip drop, stable diffusion has provided the four alternates, I think these are very good. So it has more, I think it has uh, given a more weightage to the baby part of our prompt. Uh, that's also the thing. You can change the amount of weightage from a portion of your prompt. That's also possible. But uh, this video is not for that. Definitely we will do uh, it in future sometime. That is just this, this prompt in uh, Leonardo and just click generate. And this time I have selected none. Okay, so just pro by with the above just from Leonardo will understand that what we are trying to generate. And so we just hit generate. Yeah, so in your mid journey has came up with portrait of a beautiful woman with long black hair and the prompt. So this is the result. Okay, again not a very uh, very good image, but yeah, you can try it out. And this, this is the Adobe Fire. Uh, definitely, this is the R style. Uh, you can clear the style and you can generate the images but uh yeah here are some more options that you can play with okay so uh, let us just wait for leonardo yeah great so i think uh from this comparison i think leonardo is generating very very beautiful images uh like it is you cannot see and you cannot judge that whether the image has been generated with AI or not. This is not a real person. Uh, like anyone is not uh, with uh, in the world might have this kind of uh, face. Uh, so I think Leonardo has one uh, and you cannot even differentiate. And I have personally tried mid journey. It is also very good. If we are uh, like improving our prompts, uh, mid journey will also create similar kind of images. So I think Leonardo and mid journey are very good platform if you want realistic photographs. So yeah, that was a very quick comparison uh, for different platforms who are in the race of image generation. And thank you for uh, this watching this video. And if you want to learn more about this end of AI art generation or more AI tools, you can join our two hours workshop. So link is in the description. You can find it uh, for now, bye-bye. Have a great day.